Lesson number two, never volunteer, never confront, never talk to anyone you can possibly avoid. Hello, Max. Morning, Bob. Lousy thing about Stedman. Uh, we're doing everything in our power to save his neck. Let me show you where your office is, Jack. Excuse me. Stedman's out. I want Xerox copies of his personal files. Hudson, that's your first job. Sir. Art, I want a list of his contracts to get his roll of the desk. Sir. Rich, I want his underground parking spot. Sir. Get maintenance to paint my name on it before somebody else grabs it. Sir. sir. Anything else? You're late for your prayer breakfast, sir. I think you've got God in space this morning, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in the Lord God, mister. If more people in this company had my faith, we'd not only be the biggest, we'd also be the best. Amen, sir. Through business and industry, <coughs> the Lord God can once again become a real force in America. American industry is the cornerstone of moral order, spiritual vitality, and national defense. When I stepped into your building this morning, I could feel the spirit of the Lord flowing through these halls. Look, like, what do you want me to say? I got 35 guys on hold. I got too many guys on hold. I can't talk to you. Look, what do you want me to say? Your father is dead. There's no point in being in semi-private, okay? It could be in Yankee Stadium. He doesn't have to be in semi-private. The man is dead. Of course the company's got a policy. That doesn't mean they're going to cover for it. I got 35 lines here. I can't talk to you. Hang on for one second. It wasn't my fault. I'll call you back. It wasn't my fault. I'll call you back. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault.